very drastic. Well, I'm delighted to be joined by somebody you might just recognise from BBC Food Perfect, Verity. How are you? Um, and a big day today. Yeah, a big day for Poodles. Obviously, you can see everyone's here super early. Everyone's getting the dogs ready. I've got two dogs to get ready. So this is the lovely Laura. She's one of my... Hi! She's one of my dog's puppies, who's now a year and a half. And I also have Gigi down here, who's a toy poodle, and she was the winner of the bitch ticket last year. So. Well, I have to say, when I woke up this morning, I was so excited. It's not every day that I get to get my hands on a potential best in show winner at Crafts for Druiders. Oh, um, no, 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 no. Uh, your dog's over here. There's absolutely no way you're trimming this dog. Ah, okay. Let me walk this way. I know, I know my place, <laughs> and it turns out my place is weird. A so the two essential items are a scissor and a comb. Okay. <laughs> and how on earth do I do it? Because yeah, there's a lot going on. Yeah, there is. So what you want to do is put your comb in. So we're going to put our comb right in and almost like lift the coat up and out as you're doing it. It's just it's so much work trying to maintain it. They have to be banded away all the time because they're dogs and they like to live normal lives. That's it, I've already created something that I think Da Vinci would be proud of. We've, we've lifted the coat yeah, up. Yeah, I, I love it. You, can you see now where you've got all these straggly ends? Yes. We're going to have to just scissor that, tidy it off, so that it's almost like topiary. Okay. So we want to create a nice shape, okay? And then we're going to start to scissor. So what you want to try to do is not bounce, but try and move down the hair like this. Can you see? Yes, I did see. Yeah. I can I can genuinely really see how quickly you can you can shape this. Yeah, I mean you can alter a dog's appearance completely with dog hair, but the thing is at Crufts, what we're doing is the judges are getting their hands on the dogs and they're feeling underneath all the structure of the dog as well. So there's no fooling the judges at all. Regardless of the appearance, they want to know what's under that as well. Exactly. So even though the hair is such a big thing, because the poodle is a very glamorous breed. It really is to do with the structure and the movement of the dog. So they're going to feel the dog and watching how the dog moves as well at the same time. So, Grace, when you arrive at Crust in the morning, how long will you actually spend grooming today? Grooming for about an hour, preparing them, and then, depending on the class size, 10 minutes in the ring. Wow. It's a lot, isn't it? It's clearly a yeah. passion. You know what? I think in about 15 minutes, me and my friends here, we're going to be ready to show the world our creation, <laughs> and who knows? Could it be a best in show 2023 at Crust? You wouldn't want to write it off. 